Today's video is how to update the firmware in your Spectrum NX transmitter with the SD card. I'm also going to talk about the new added feature where the NX6 and NX7E have 14 channels, the NX8, NX10, and IX14 have 20 channels. So let's get started. First thing that needs to be done is capture the serial number on the radio. Now keep in mind the serial number and the updates are tied together. So you can't have someone download an update based upon their serial number and then give you the file for an update. That can cause problems. So two ways you can capture the serial number. You go to the serial number screen and either use pen and paper and write down the serial number and manually type it in on the Spectrum account or you can export the serial number. I'm going to show you how to export the serial number. You're going to push in the scroll wheel. You're going to scroll down to system setup. Scroll to OK. Then you're going to scroll down to About and Regulatory at the very bottom. Now you can see on this screen we've got the serial number in the middle, export, then the firmware, and the model that it is. You want to scroll down here and click on Export, and then it's going to give you a file name and say OK. Then you want to just back out of this screen. And go to the main menu. Now I've got the SD card installed in the radio and powered up. That's all you need to do. Now it's going to go through some blinking processes and you'll see the bar going left and right and you can tell that it's loading the firmware. Two key things to remember. One, have a charged up radio. Don't let your battery be low when you do this. Number two, is do not turn the radio off at any time once this process is started. I've updated numerous radios over the years and I've never had an issue following those two steps. Again, don't power down the radio and number two, have a charged up battery in the radio. Another thing you can do is have it plugged up to a charge cord while this is cycling. That way you can make sure that you don't lose power. So we're going to wait just a few moments. As I mentioned, it goes up and down through the screen. Like we talked about earlier, you can A, have the serial number wrote down on a piece of paper and just manually type it in on your Spectrum account. Or B, you can export the serial number like we did just a moment ago and install the SD card in the computer and you'll be able to export that file on your Spectrum account. So it'll only take a few moments and with using the SD card, a little bit of advantage over using Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi you got to have connected to your router and if you lose connection you could potentially have an issue. Now I've done Spectrum updates with my Wi-Fi in the past and I've never had an issue. However, doing the SD card is going to be the most secure installation because it's not downloading it and you know you can't lose connection it's just installed into the radio once we've updated to the new firmware you will have version 4.00 now this method is the same way if you're doing updates after this video has been posted there's two places you can check to see where the firmware version is one like we talked about earlier in the about and regulatory screen the second place is when you power on and off the radio it will have the version in the top right hand corner so we're using an nx8 in this video as i mentioned the nx8 nx10 and ix14 have now been upgraded to 20 channels the nx6 and the nx7e have now been upgraded to 14 channels You will notice as we've been waiting on this to update, the bar has been going up left and right. You can see there it's going full speed. Sometimes it only goes halfway. Don't be alarmed. That's just normal process when it's updating the radio. As I mentioned earlier, do not let the radio power down and do not turn the radio off when you're doing a firmware update. That's the biggest way to have issues with your radio. I say these things a few times because 
I want to reiterate the fact that you want to make sure this process is seamless. As I mentioned, I've been updating Spectrum radios for years and I've never had an issue and I had to send one back in. So I'm just giving you these helpful tips that I've learned along the way to keep you from having any issues and having to send your radio in. As you can see now, we're powered up, ready to go. So I'm actually going to turn the radio off. You'll notice in that top right hand corner, it's going to say 4.00. So now our firmware is updated. I'm going to go ahead and take the SD card out of the radio and then we'll move on and look at the channel count and confirm that we have our upgraded amount of channels. Now we've removed the SD card and powered on the radio. Last thing we want to do is enable our extra channels. Two things to keep in mind. One, if it's a model that was already in the radio, which this test model was in there before the update, you will need to enable the extra channels. If you're setting up a new model after the update, then you should automatically get the maximum amount of channels for that particular model of radio. We're going to push enter, scroll down to system setup, push enter, click on yes. Then we're going to scroll down to frame rate. You will have an option in the middle that says X plus that needs to be enabled. Right now it's inhibited. Scroll down, click on it one time. Now it's active and you'll notice the servo mode changed to 12 at 22 and X plus. X plus is what actually makes the extra channels available. So now we're going to back up and you will notice when you scroll to the right, you will now have two monitors. We have our original monitor, which is throttle through auxiliary seven. And then you have an X plus monitor, which is your extra available channels. Now we've completed the firmware update using the SD card. If you learned something new today, go ahead and push like on the video. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.